who's going to cheer up the mourners now? The Chinese government has launched a crackdown on funeral strippers and will reward tipsters for revealing information on such performances. It has been a long tradition for rural folks in China to use local opera performers for funerals to get people to attend and show respect to the deceased. However, since the 1990s, a funeral strippers phenomenon has emerged in some areas of China. The latest crackdown is focused on 19 cities across Henan, Anhui, Jiangsu and Hebei province. The new campaign offers tipsters cash incentives when they report funeral misdeeds via a special hotline. In 2015, China's Xinhua News Agency commented that the performances highlight the trappings of modern life in China, whereby vanity and snobbery prevail over traditions. It's a no-no in China. World's hottest PC game to get locked out of China. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds may be a smash hit everywhere in the world, but leave it to China to take aim at the survival video game's violent content. Gameplay in Battlegrounds is Hunger Games style. It starts with players parachuting into a desert island, scavenging for all sorts of weapons, and then fighting each other to the death. Last Man Standing wins. Despite not yet officially launching in China, the game already has a sizable chunk of Chinese players. But with regulators complaining of too much blood and gore, it looks like Battlegrounds won't be getting a license anytime soon. If it does, expect it to be heavily cut and censored to fit socialist core values and traditional Chinese culture. Hmm, fun. The Chinese Copyright Association may not be a fan of violently competitive games, but better violent in a game than in real life which might be the case if the players get fed up with their policing. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds to get a dose of socialism with Chinese characteristics. Hit PC game Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, aka PUBG, is going to be released in China after all. Its South Korean publisher has partnered with China's Tencent to make a socialist-friendly Chinese version of the game. For those with a life, PUBG is inspired by the classic Japanese movie Battle Royale. The online game sees 100 players parachute onto an island and eliminate each other Hunger Games style. Reportedly, the Chinese version will promote pro-socialist messaging. do that in a game that's all about the individual eliminating the competition to win, aka free market capitalism? You add in some socialism with Chinese characteristics, aka Marxism-Leninism, aka the Chinese Communist Party, aka one-party dictatorship. So in place of 100 China-based gamers butchering each other, we will see instead them working together to build a socialist utopia? Who knows, but if we do, this guy is probably watching and maybe even playing with glee. Chinese government quashes internet sensation Poppy Zhang. Interesting. A young internet star known as Poppy Zhang has been reprimanded by Chinese authorities for the use of foul language. Chinese internet star Poppy Zhang is known for her extremely fast-paced voice and sharp comments about current Chinese society, which occasionally contains swear words. She tackles a wide range of topics in her videos, such as nitpicking bosses, annoying relatives, girls who show off their wealth, as well as disgusting couples who love to display their affections publicly. Her funny comments speak to many Chinese people, earning her millions of fans on Yuku, Weibo, WeChat, and YouTube. Poppy Zhang also received nearly two million U.S. dollars in venture capital funding just last month. Poppy Zhang's huge success attracted the attention of the state administration of press publication Radio, Film, and Television of China, which censors everything Chinese citizens are allowed to watch or read. The organization ordered Poppy Zhang to remove her videos and reform the content. It's speculated the denouncing of Poppy Zhang is a gesture to discourage the business development of internet celebrities, as well as an effort to clean up the internet, forcing Chinese users to behave according to orders from the country's president, Xi Jinping. China held a survey about the incident, and over 70% of Chinese people voted against the punishment of Poppy Zhang, saying that shows on the internet should follow their own rules. Meanwhile, Poppy Zhang herself posted a note on her Weibo account accepting the government's punishment and promising that she'll definitely make corrections in future clips. China doesn't want the UK's recycled plastic anymore. Rich countries are now scrambling to find other places to dump their garbage after China's recent plastics ban. 
China imported 7.3 million tons of plastic waste in 2017 from the U.S., the EU, the U.K., and Japan. But starting this year, it's banning 24 categories of recyclables and solid waste. Britain alone sends around two-thirds, about 500,000 tons, of its recycled plastic to China every year. UK recycling firms are now looking to Malaysia and Vietnam. However, both those countries have capacity issues. Unless other alternative markets can be found, the plastics will have to be sent for incineration or dumped in a landfill. Well, we could always start launching all of our garbage into space. <laughs>